Jane Goodall, the world's most highly respected prime, prime to, primatologist, is that how you say it? Primatolo primatologist? Primatologist. Primatologist uh, compared Donald Trump's behavior to that of uh, male chimpanzees back in 2016. And there was a lot of truth in her comparison. Just hold, we'll make our point in a second. Yesterday, she actually went on MSNBC and offered some new analysis that's um, just as accurate and entertaining. Let's watch. We just turn it back to the insurance companies, get costs down and keep quality up. It's Rubio. <laughs> it's the greatest hoax ever in the history of our country. Here's she, huh? And here's Sleepy Joe, what? Positively toward negative. No, I tested uh, perfectly. I'm a perfect physical specimen and I'm extremely young. What do you see there? <laughs> I see the same sort of behavior as a male chimpanzee will show when he's competing for dominance with another. They, they're upright, they swagger, they project themselves as really more large and aggressive than they may actually be in order to intimidate their rivals. No, I, lo I love it. I love it. It's so good. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know what? Chimpanzees are fascinating. Yeah, primates in general, yeah. Yeah, because they're us, basically. Kind of, yeah. Not, not in general, more but, like, but apes, we're apes. Like we're, we're form, descendants yeah. of apes. Exactly, yeah, yeah, but if we're descended, why are they still here? <laughs> Who put said in, that again? Put me in the Senate, America, Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. Well, that's right. not just Herschel Walker. Every idiot in America has said that at some point or another. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it's obvious what Trump is doing. Mm -hmm. What is ridiculous is that it works on so many people. Like, yeah, everyone, because we're all apes. Like, in one way, people like to give their bananas away. Yeah, Jenk has used that analogy yeah. a lot. And, we're so pathetic, we're so pathetic. <laughs> and we all, at least, I, I don't know if there's an equivalent for, for women, but every guy group has the jackass who mm -hmm. like always wants to get in a fight, but is not the person who should be getting into a fight. <laughs> it's like you're just, oh, you are really desperate to lose another fight, aren't you? Um, so you know like, like <laughs> braggadocio that can't be backed up. And then you have that experience in your life, you see it from a billionaire. And you can't you can't recognize it anymore. You're like, oh no, he probably is really tough. I mean, I know I'm looking at everything about him and everything, and it's pathetic. But yeah, no, he probably is a real alpha. It's so weird that it works. So let's let's talk a little bit about chimpanzees. You guys probably know about a lot of what I'm about to share, but just in case, because I think it's just so interesting. So much like humans, chimpanzees also have like hierarchies, right? Like complicated po politics and hierarchies. Electoral college. <laughs> they do not have the electoral college, but they're thinking about it. Uh, male chimps do what's referred to as displays, <laughs> where they show other males that they are the dominant one by being as belligerent as possible. <laughs> That's very close to human <laughs> society, so, yeah. So interesting. Um, uh, it's a warning not to mess with them, also a way of attracting females, right? That so, shouldn't work either. You remember when Trump like was at the UN or whatever, and he like busted through the crowd and he's like, Guys, but okay, look. I think what Jenk is missing when he celebrates the notion of like Trump really being done for good, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the best part, not the best part, but one of the best parts of that is that he, cuz he's, I think he's funny. Whether it's intentional or unintentional, he's funny. And I want to be able to laugh at him without having like that lingering, terrible feeling of like, oh, he has political power. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's fun to laugh at George W. Bush now. Yeah. I want to. I want to get. He's not going to gonna be president again. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I want to get to that point. Yeah. Well, and and at least as of right now, and everything can change. Trump looks like a. He's threatening in a lot of ways, but electorally less threatening than other alternatives. Yeah. And provides, I guess, that levity. So that's like the 
perfect combination, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's definitely downsides, but yes. yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I look forward to it. And look, when he's going to be doing his his chimp thing or whatever by showing how he's the most dominant, he's going to be doing it by throwing poo at Ron DeSantis. Yeah, yes. And that is a person that desperately needs to have poo hit him in the face, and metaphorically. If and if you're wondering Literally. what that might look like in the chimpanzee world, um, we thought it would be helpful to get a better idea of what male chimp behavior actually looks like. So let's watch. Oh no. Chimps swagger and strut, but it's mostly bluff. The louder and more dramatic the display, the more effective it is. A chimpanzee displays to intimidate others or to show dominance. These displays improve and secure his rank in the community. And he'll often shake branches and grab sticks, toss stuff around. And that's all a bravado, this is what we call display. We haven't evolved at all, actually. Like I look at that and I'm like, oh, we're the same. There's really no difference other than like physical appearance. Like that's amazing. Yeah. I just at the next debate, you're gonna have a Republican pick up the podium just <laughs> And people in the audience would be like, oh, I like that, MAGA. I don't know, maybe we're just really reconnecting with our roots. I don't know. I guess we're, we're devolving, we're devolving. Really fast, just so I don't forget, can we put up the B roll of Jane Goodall again? Yeah. Because I don't know if you noticed what I noticed. Probably not. Can we put that up? I think it's the first image that comes up. Uh, when did Emma go work with Jane Goodall, by the way? Does that look yeah, like her? There is a little, yeah, there's a little yeah. bit of a resemblance. I see it. Oh, young I Jane Goodall. It. Anyway, she kind what of an looks- amazing career. Incredible. Whew. Yeah, no, she's amazing. Yeah. I want to hang out with her. She seems pretty cool. Yeah, you'd probably talk politics with her. Doesn't seem to be a big fan of Trump. I mean, I just want her to compare other politicians to, to primates. That would be great. Or any animal. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.